Hello, Scott, in Clinton, Queensland, Australia. It is Matthew here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, and with the help of my GoPro camera, I'm going to show you how I cut clear lenses with anti-glare coating for your Ray-Ban 5184, color 2012, which is the dark Havana, and color and size 52, I should say. Let's take it out of the original packaging. Of course, if you have a QR scanner, you can get a quick look on that and look that up online. Everyone else, you have to look at it the old-fashioned way. Here is your Ray-Ban leather case, the same Wayfair. This is your frame and, of course, your cleaning cloth that was upside down. I'm going to turn it right side up. I'm going to send you all the original packaging. And, in fact, Ray-Ban sends it to me with a little protective sleeve on the left temple so that it doesn't get scratched during shipping. If they think it's a good idea to send it with one, well, by golly, I'm going to put a second one on this side when I ship to you. So I have twice the protection. So this is it. This is the dark Havana. And I'm going to cut some clear lenses for it. So first things first, let me take these clear demo lenses, coquille as they used to be called in the old day. I'm going to pop those out. In fact, let me put these in your bag because I'm shipping you everything, all the original packaging. And I'm going to put your frame into my Santinelli LE1000 Patternless Edger here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. The tracer is now, guess what, tracing the right side of the frame and now it's going to scoot over and trace the left. And then I'm going to pull up the shape of your, comp of your frame on the computer. So the stylus is going around and tracing, trace, trace, trace. It is now 726 on Wednesday, April 9th, 67 degrees in my hometown of Durham, North Carolina, here on the East Coast, halfway between Atlanta and Washington, D.C., and halfway between Miami and New York City. So, now here's the shape. If these were prescription lenses, I would type in your pupillary distance, but for now I'm going to have it match the frames PD. This is a polycarbonate lens that I'm going to cut on the soft cycle because of the anti-glare coating. This is not a metal frame. This is a xyle frame, which is an old school name for plastic. Right now, all the plastics seem to be made out of acetates. So, let's go ahead and start cutting the right lens. First thing I'm going to do is take your lenses out of their protective packets. And your lenses have an anti-glare coating on them. I'm going to show you the same lens without it. Yours is on the right. Without is on the left. You can see how the fluorescent lights above me reflect off of this one, but not on the one on the right. The nice thing about that, if someone takes a picture with the flash, you don't see the flash lit up in your lens. But I do need to attach this block to this lens so I can start cutting. So I'm going to take a little double-sided adhesive sticker from 3M. I'm going to put the first sticker on there, peel the other side away to make that side sticky, and put that right on your lens. Now let's do the same thing for your left lens. Put the pad on this one, pull that away, and then put that on there. Now one of the aspects of your lens is the, the anti-glare coating is also a hydrophobic coating, meaning it hates water, so it's going to be that much more slippery. So I'm going to put another little sticky pad on the back side of the lens while it is cutting. So let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to put your lens into the chuck. Hello, chuck. Excuse me, Charles. I don't know you well enough. And the LMU, which is this device, is going to come down and trace the shape of your frame onto the concave side of the lens first, which is closest to your eyelashes. Then it's going to scoot over and trace the convex side of the lens, which is away from the face, using the calipers to measure the thickness of the lens to know exactly where to put the bevel so it best fits inside your frame. Now the actual cutting wheel is down here on the left. It's the lighter color wheel. It's like a heavy grit sandpaper that's going to grind away your polycarbonate material down to the shape of, of the, the final shape. This wheel in the center with the channel is what's going to put the bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I will have to close the door in just a moment because of the sound, but I want you to see as your lens, as it touches the polycarbonate, I'm sorry, as the polycarbonate lens touches the cutting wheel. So we're going to put them in here. Now, your lenses, I mentioned that they are polycarbonate, but they're also an aspheric polycarbonate. Hopefully you can see that. A spherical lens means it's, it's round, an aspheric lens is much flatter, it's going to have a flatter curvature, it's going to look cosmetically so much better in this frame, it will not give you that fishbowl effect that so many cheap lenses will give you. I only use high quality ophthalmic lenses for every job that I ship out of here and every job cut on here. 
This is a $30,000 edger. I recommend everyone go out and get one. Put it on your kitchen counter and then you can cut lenses at home. You won't need me anymore. But your lenses are the polycarbonate material, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. It is also virtually unbreakable. Your lenses are bulletproof up to 22 caliber and has both UVA and UVB protection. So we know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you now have permanent sunscreen on your eyes as long as you are wearing these. Which down in Australia, you get your own personal sun that follows you around everywhere you go, and especially since you're on the water there in Clinton, right there just above the Gold Coast. Beautiful, beautiful part of the country. I bet the nighttime sky is just incredible with all the stars you can see. So, one of the features about your lenses, of course, you can see how flat they are and how that good that's going to look inside the frame as a finished product. But anytime you buy a frame from me, everyone gets free clear lenses or free prescription clear lenses. You do not need to have a prescription. If you just want to wear these for fashion, that is fine. In fact, I also include, if anyone out there has unused vision insurance or flex dollars associated with a health savings account, with every purchase I include an itemized receipt with V-codes with my federal ID tax number on there so you can use this as reimbursement for insurance or if you have flex dollars. Any of the purchases you make from me, which are tax-free, all glasses are tax-free in my state of North Carolina. <coughs> Excuse me. It's allergy season here in North Carolina and I've just discovered I have allergies which up until now I disputed I thought it was just a cold that wouldn't go away and someone said you have allergies I said no I don't I've never had allergies and they said well you got them now I didn't believe them for a couple days I took allergy medicine just to prove them wrong but something happened and I started to feel a lot better and I was like "Ugh!" I have to admit to them that yes yes I do now have allergies so okay is coming out of the chuck and before I like the first thing I want to do is dry your lens off so it's not slippery and I don't drop this thing on live TV with everyone watching but you still have a little bit of rough edges there so I'm gonna to go to my hand stone and put on what's known as the safety bevel to smooth everything out now this is completely flat I can put my hand on it while it's running and it gets warm due to the friction so that's exactly what it does so this white material which is called Schwarf I use my thumbnail to scrape this off Get all that off the edge of the lens and I do this so much I've worn a v-shaped bevel into my thumbnail my friends call it my occupational thumbnail but I do this in all my videos because hey I gotta have fun while I'm doing this but all this material that I just scraped off the edge of your lens I collect it very neatly on the counter and then I wipe it on the floor and this is where I say kids stay in school I went to school for years to learn how to make a mess and wipe stuff on the floor don't think you can do it as easily as me as day one stay in school learn to do what I do then you can make a mess so in order to make sure this fits I tuck it in at the outside corner and by the way I'm also sending you an extra set of lenses that you had purchased so this is the same way for you to mount the other set of lenses just take them out of the protective packet that uh, they come in tuck it in at the outside corner I place the frame the side that I'm working on closest to me I'm not trying to reach across the frame to mount this in an awkward fashion of course you can develop your own style but I always like to have the frame in the upright position to mount it with the side I'm working on closest to me. I tuck it in at the outside corner, which is closest to me, and then using my thumbs, press down at the nose, and it snaps in that easily. So let's go ahead and cut your left lens. I'm going to pull this over, put it in the chuck, flip that over to left, and hit start. And just like before, it's going to come down and trace the shape of your left of the left side of the frame onto your lens to make sure this is large enough to cut out. I cannot override this function. It's just a backup system built into the edger to make sure it's fail proof. If I could eliminate this I would because it would save me about a minute on every lens but hey we're along for the ride at this point. So your lenses that anti-glare coating the purpose of that is that it eliminates glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but it also eliminates glare from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead lights, fluorescent lights. And if you notice, there's water running in the background 
but it's not on the lens itself. Polycarbonate cuts dry, where plastic and high index lenses cut wet. But that anti-glare coating is three features in one. It's anti-glare, as I mentioned. It's an anti-reflection lens. So when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses. In fact, let me pop one side of this off. The chuck is no longer needed. I'm going to pull this blue sticker off. I'm use my cloth to dry everything up here. Get cleaned and polished. But as you can see now on the right lens versus the left, you may even be able to see the reflection of me and my camera as I film. But when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses or if someone has, takes a picture with the flash, you don't see the flash lit up in the lens. It just makes for much better eye contact. So those are the first two. It's anti-glare, it's also anti-reflection. The third feature that I like, it comes with a very strong scratch coating. So to protect the high quality premium anti-glare coating that is on there. So, <clears throat> so that is it. It's a reflection free, glare free, and nothing on God's green earth is scratch proof. But this takes a really good beating and keeps going. If you notice, your lens is still completely flat at the edges. Almost like a nickel. If I were to take it out, it could almost stand up on its own. So in just a moment, it's going to move over and put the bevel onto the lens. So it stays inside the bevel of the frame. So the Ray-Ban 5184, the ORX means it's an ophthalmic frame. The one I'm wearing is the new Wayfair, model number 2132. This is color 6053, which is the blue crystal. I wear a lot of blue with white pinstripes, especially in the summertime, spring, summer. So that's why I just picked this color up a few, few weeks ago. But this looks very similar to my tortoise color. This is the 2132. Now this is the new Wayfair, which was seen as sunglasses. Let me grab a couple lenses here and pop them in. Oh, that's for a 55 eye size. That's not going to fit. Let me find a couple. There's one. So this originally came as a sunglasses with, of course that's a brown lens. Let me find a G15 lens. Of course that's a gray gradient lens, but originally this frame came as sunglasses with the G15 lenses in there. I just took the dark lenses out and put my clear prescription. When the Geek Chic became popular, Ray-Ban re-released this instead of the 2132. They call this the 5184, but it looks extremely familiar, doesn't it? Okay, let me put mine back down. I'll work on that later. So let me take this left lens out. I'm going to dry everything off. Back to the handstone. Put the safety bevel on there. Back to the occupational thumbnail where it scrapes off the schwarf. Kids, you know what's coming next? Yes, look at that. Look at that technique, kids. Stay in school. How many times I got to tell you? All right, to make sure this fits, I tuck it in. I've moved the frame over to this side with the empty side closest to me. I tuck it in at the outside corner first, and then using my thumbs, I press down and it snaps right in. I'm going to take this block off now that it's no longer needed. Pull the blue sticker off the back. And in just a moment, I'm going to get this in standard alignment before shipping to you. But should you ever need to change these lenses, if you ever want to get sunglass lenses for these or prescription lenses, I can send them right to your home to take these lenses out. It's always with the thumb and you're always pushing down with your thumb at the nose. So I turn the frame over and I'm left handed. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm right handed. So I grab the frame with my left hand is what I was going to say. And using my right thumb, I press down at the nose and it pops right out. I was just reinforcing the frame and pulling back with my fingers right here if you notice. Now to put them back in, I rotate the frame back upright, with the, tuck it into the corner closest to me, and then using my thumbs, I press down right there. So I do want to take my optical grade acetone and clean any of the sticky residue that may have been from the two stickers that were on the lens when I cut them. I'm going to take that off and put this in standard alignment, meaning that it will sit level on the table. Now 99% of all optical shops do free adjustments. So if this is too loose or too tight or high on one side or the other, just stop by your local place and tell them it only takes about 30 seconds to adjust this frame. 
but I'm going to put it in a three point stance. Those three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set it on the counter with my thumbs. I press down. There is no wobble, unlike mine. I have one ear that's higher than the other, so when I press down on one side, mine wobble. You do not have that with yours. I flip it over, do the same thing. I press down with both thumbs. Everything is level on the table. I close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and there's the same amount of tension on both sides. And then I'm just about to wrap this up and get these shipped back to you in Clinton, Queensland, Australia. Scott, I really appreciate you purchasing these from me. You could have bought them from anyone, but you bought them from the guy who gives you the free clear lenses. Well played, sir, I, I must have to say. Everyone else out there and Scott, I hope you enjoyed watching your glasses being made. If anyone has any questions, email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or just click on the contact me button at the, or the tab, I should say, on the website and I will respond back quickly. Thanks again for your time and I hope everyone had a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.